If you're building an app, don't forget these things. Hello and welcome to App Creative. If you're new here, my name is Dale Richards. I'm a software innovator from Salt Lake City, Utah, and I love making software that changes the world. If you want to build apps, grow your SaaS business, and make money doing cool software entrepreneur related stuff, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell. Okay, everybody, some quick announcements. Don't forget, we've got webinars available to you, at least one, if not two, every month. We're covering the steps of taking an app from concept to cash. It's a way for you to engage with us in more of a live forum. Uh, go to appcreative.eventbrite.com to check out the webinar schedule. You can sign up for the webinars there and join us. Also, don't forget about the new uh, notebook coming out. You can uh, use this notebook to sketch out your app ideas and uh, your user flows. So uh, I'll give you some more details when I have more information about that notebook's availability. All right, so you're building an app or you're planning to build an app uh, and, and you might think like, oh, you're such an awesome planner. And, and you know, I've been there. I've been like, hey, we're gonna make sure that we're thorough. We're gonna plan this app all the way. And you know what, In on more than one occasion, I've had just these little annoying details come and, and, and bite me. So what I wanna do is cover 14 of the most annoying little things about app development that you wanna make sure that you remember because you probably could overlook these things. Number one, modals. We're talking about all the little pop-up windows that say, are you sure you wanna proceed with this? Or do you, you know, if you perceive that this is gonna happen, are you sure? Or you got the wrong password. So make sure that you think through where are all the modals? Have we forgotten anything? Make sure that you have all those planned out because a lot of times you'll get into app development and you realize, hey, we forgot to actually consider those modals when we designed the application. So don't forget your modals. Number two, login and password error handling. You're talking to the server all the time trying to get passwords validated and stuff and someone's going to enter the wrong e email or the wrong password and you need some kind of error to come back to say, hey, that's the wrong password or hey, you need a stronger password. Make sure you've thought through and plan for the, all of the error handling for your user authentication. Number three, backend error handling. Your backend and your front end are gonna be talking to each other. What happens when something goes wrong? You know, or maybe you've got systems on the backend that are talking to each other. What happens if one of those systems like has an error? You need to know how to handle those errors and also you need to know what to show the user when a backend error happens. Uh, number four, time zones. If you are dealing with time or calendaring in any way on your application, which you probably are, like you think about chat history timestamps, think about uh, calendars, think about anything that's related to time. Are you addressing time zones appropriately? And what's gonna happen also when you have daylight savings time and it changes? So make sure you're thinking through time zones when you're working on, on your application. Number five, list sorting. Anytime in your app you've got some kind of a list, it's gonna be sorted in some way. Is it gonna be sorted alphabetically? Is it gonna be sorted chronologically? Is it uh, alphabetically by first name or by last name? So how are we sorting those lists? So when, you've done, when, you, when you've done your design, look through and see, and see where are all the lists and have we defined how those lists are supposed to be sorted? Make sure you call that out so that the developers know how you want those lists sorted. Notification settings, what are all the notification settings and how exactly uh, are the users supposed to set those notifications? So if you want someone to be notified about some kind of an event when it happens, that's, that's pretty easy. But like, what if you want someone to be notified about uh, like a reminder every day or every week or every month? Well, how is the user supposed to set those up and, and, to, and to tell the app how often they want to be notified or reminded? So make sure that you're thinking through your notification settings and how the user can interact with them. Number seven, notification copy. When I say copy, I'm talking about the actual text that shows up when people read the notification. So if the notification comes up on your, on your, um, your home screen, on your, on your device, um, it's gonna say something. Well, what does it say? And is that, is what it says on, on brand? And does it have the same voice that you want it to have? So you can treat people like computers or you can treat people like people. And, and so you want the personality of your company and your brand to come through in the notifications. And so you wanna write out what those notifications are. You don't wanna to get to like the last minute and realize, oh my gosh, we forgot to write out the wording for those notifications. So think through that in advance so that the developers can uh, implement those notifications. And, and I recommend just having a document that has all notifications written out it's gone to the client or, or to, if, you, if, you're the, if you're the client because you're the entrepreneur that you've, you've thought through all of those and that you've written out exactly how you want to communicate to your users through every notification. 
Number eight, I recommend doing a thorough copy review. So if you've got all of your screens mocked up, you wanna go through screen by screen and just pay attention to all of the words that are showing up on the screens. And are those the right words? Do we, are we really sounding the way we want to sound? So not just in notifications or modals, but everywhere on every screen. So make sure that all of your copy, all of the actual text uh, in your app is on, is on brand. Number nine, grouping and ungrouping. If you have some kind of an app where you're grouping users together uh, or uh, you're ungrouping things, you wanna make sure that you're addressing the scenarios where, well, is it just one to one? Are we grouping two people together? Are we grouping one to many? Is it many to one? Like, do we have, if I'm in a group on this application, am I kind of in more than one group? And what happens if uh, I'm in two groups, but someone else is in three groups? So you wanna think through what are the scenarios around grouping and ungrouping people, content, whatever it is that you're grouping together, think through those scenarios. Number 10, version numbers. Which version of the app are you looking at? How do you know? If someone has an error and they and they want to report a bug, how will they know which version of the app they're using? So make sure that the, the version number of the application is somewhere on the app so that people can find it. It could be in some kind of an info section or it could just be on the footer or some other place, but make sure that people are able to tell you, oh, I'm using this version of the app. That way you'll be able to know if they're using the most current version or not. Another thing about version numbers is that you want to tie the version number that's in the app with the version number that is in your management, like your work management system. So like if it's Jira or Trello or wherever it is that you're managing the work for the developers, make sure that you're lining up the version numbers in the app with the version numbers in your releases in, um, uh, in your work management system. Number 11, email branding and design. If I have to go into the app and reset my password, probably I'm gonna get some kind of an email that says, hey, reset your password or validate your username or whatever that is. Uh, especially if you're using a third party service, uh, they may have their own default branding. Just make sure that you're looking at those emails and that they look like they represent your brand and your company. Number 12, and this probably should be number one, uh, App Store and Google Play compliance. You want to make sure that you're, you've been thinking through, is this app, is this business model that I'm offering, is it acceptable according to Google Play uh, and the Apple App Store? Some some business models that people think of that are, that are great business models, but they built them into their apps and then they submit them to the App Store and, and for example, Apple won't approve them. So for example, if you are trying to create some kind of alternate currency or tokenization or credits that people consume in the app, you can't do that unless you're going through um, in-app purchases. And, and Apple and Google, they both take 30% uh, for those purchases. So you want to make sure that you're thinking through um, any other issues relative to compliance with Apple App Store or Google Play policies. Number 13, menu options. Do you have a menu? Do you have all the options in that menu? Are the options in the right order? Do you have a user story uh, for creating the menu or, or a task that the developers can estimate? Make sure that you have thought through, okay, well, what is gonna be in the menu? And number 14, you need a support staff and a support plan. Make sure that you are ready to support your users once you go live. It's really, you really don't wanna forget this because when you get to the end of your development uh, and your deployment and people are starting to use your app, they're gonna need help. Don't forget to think through how are we going to help them? How are we going to get the information that they need to them? And how are we going to be able to let them contact us? So there you go, 14 basic things. Don't forget these things when you are building your app. Uh, I hope that these tips are helpful to you. We've got more how-tos, more resources, and more app ideas right here on App Creative. We'll see you next time. Join us again. Videos are published every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 noon Mountain Time.